Professional photographers know the power of bokeh that can be created when using a fast lens at its maximum aperture. Particularly useful when shooting portraits, a shallow depth of field can help your subject stand out in the frame, while simultaneously blurring out distractions in the background. Of course, there may be times when you don't have the right lens or maybe you're just not happy with how the bokeh is looking in your image. No worries, Affinity Photo has you covered with a range of features and tools that will help you enhance the shallow depth of field in your frame. Best still, this technique can be done non-destructively and takes just a few moments. There's actually two ways of doing this and we're going to show you them both. So let's start with the first method. Create a duplicate layer by clicking Ctrl and J or Apple and J if you're on an Apple Mac. You can make a selection of your subject by selecting the selection brush and drawing out, holding the mouse, of your subject. Now this is an area where you have to take your time to make sure you've got every element covered. All the sort of stray hairs, ear, fingers, every bit of your subject. So just take your time and slowly make your way around the area you want to cover. If you need to, you can press Ctrl and Plus to zoom in and get a better view of your subject. You can also change the size of the selection brush using the square bracket key. If you make a mistake, just hold Alt and recorrect your lines. Okay, with your subject selected, you can press Ctrl and C to copy the pixels, and then press Ctrl and V to paste them. Select your middle layer, and you can now add the bokeh effect. And we do this by heading up to Filters, finding the Blur option, scrolling across and selecting Gaussian Blur. You can see instantly there, the background has changed. And you can move the radius slider to control the effect and determine how much bokeh you want to add. Let's go for 21 pixels. Once you're happy, click Apply, and there we go. Now, there's a much more simpler method. So we're going to lose these layers and start again. This method is non-destructive, and all you need to do is head up to the layer and select Affinity Photo's new Live Filter Layer option. Scroll across to Blur, Select Gaussian Blur, and once again, when the dialog box appears, you can change the slider to control the amount. This time, the whole of the image is being affected by the Gaussian Blur. So what I'm going to do is select the Brush tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is B. Make sure it's set to black with a hardness of 0%. And I'm just going to hide the pixels because we're on a mask here. and you can paint out the blurred pixels. Once again, it can be super useful to press Ctrl and Plus and zoom in and use the square bracket keys to change the size of the brush to get more precision and control. You could actually check your progress by heading back to the layers panel and clicking the Gaussian blur mask on and off. As this is a live layer, if you don't like the look of the bokeh effect, you can simply start again. But once you are happy, you can then head up to File, scroll down to Export, and then you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Have fun adding the Boker effect to your images, and I'll see you next time.